Stenbach, and it is so nice outside, really, no matter where you go. Yeah, and look at Kalama right now. How inviting does this look on the Columbia River? Now, most places you're dealing with some pretty strong winds, but right here we're looking at about 10 miles per hour overall. 71 degrees in Kalama. Really warm out there. And in fact, now when you look at Kalama's temperature, we're about 10 degrees above normal. Let's take a look at this wind, though. Wind speeds upwards of 22, 25 miles per hour. All of this coming right out of the east and going all the way up and over the coast range and then down to the beach. So that downsloping flow actually heats things up, which is why you're going to find that your coastal temperatures are actually warm, as warm, if not warmer, than what we're seeing inland. But look at those wind speeds overall. This is really not going to die down until we get to later tonight. <laughs> Prime example right here from our downtown Portland camera. It's 69 degrees in Portland. Wind is out of the east at 22. Dew point at 25, so very dry out there. Relative humidity, 18%. Tomorrow morning, we're starting off nice and clear, 41, 42. By 8 o'clock, we're at 46. And then as soon as we get to your 10 o'clock hour, we're at about 56 degrees. So dew point change. Why do we want to consider this? This tells us how much drier is it now than it was 24 hours ago. And this is pretty dry. We've dropped our dew point by almost 20 degrees here inland and along the coast. Pretty significant. It also feels pretty dry. You add on to the fact that we already are in a drought. We're already in several drought categories, including now the severe drought category, as well as the moderate and abnormally dry across the entire state, now also including Washington. So wind gusts and direction. What are we going to see here in the next 24 hours? You'll notice that when dropping off as soon as we get just past midnight, it'll probably pick up again a little bit right around 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and then die down for you by the middle of the day tomorrow. Forecast temperatures at the coast tomorrow will be right around 62 for you, seaside. Lincoln City, 58. So why would we be that much cooler at the coast tomorrow? Because we're going to turn down the offshore flow so you won't have that downslope heating taking place anymore tomorrow. Inland Valley temperatures will be in the mid-70s, so we're going to dial back the wind and our temperatures as a result are actually going to warm up even more so. Plus, we're under a ridge of high pressure. Uh, Madras up to 74, Pendleton 74, Baker City 65. Now in the Dalles, you're going to wake up to about 50 degrees. So your morning low, well above normal. By the afternoon, we're up to 77 for you, the Dalles. Hood River starting off at 47, ending up with 75. Government camp, you're not even going to get down to freezing. You're going to be right around 37 degrees afternoon high up to about 64 and again overall winds for it just about everybody will improve by tomorrow but here's your seven day forecast so tomorrow up to about 76 that'll be the warmest day for the entire week noticing though a little chance for a few showers most of this happening saturday afternoon and evening but ending pretty quickly so that leaves you with sunday mostly sunny we jump back up to the upper 60s what a roller coaster monday tuesday Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies Wednesday, looking at another chance for showers, a high of 63. And partly cloudy by the middle of next week, overall mid-60s. But still, this entire week, we're looking at temperatures well above normal. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, well, we still get those May flowers without those April showers. Hmm.